So I hear you, getting your car tinted in ceramic window tint can actually be pretty expensive. Walmart comes to the rescue with Blackmagic's nano ceramic window tint. This is the 20% version for $20, thank you. 85% uh, heat reduction, meaning that this stuff actually has 10% more heat reduction than the ceramic that I usually put on my own car. So the question is, why haven't I been using this from the very beginning? and uh, what it's like to install and look like. So we're gonna do that with uh, the Blackmagic kit, and you guys know this is gonna be, gonna be a little bit of fun. But I'll have a couple of actual recommendations for you uh, to make it a little bit easier uh, if you actually wanna go install this stuff yourself. But first, let's unbox it and let's see what this stuff is actually all about. So cracking into this box is always uh, pretty straightforward. The, uh, they usually just staple this together. I've done this enough times. Whatever, they got instructions and stuff in here. The real fun is always, what does it look like? Hmm. Actually, actually not bad. It's got like a little purpley blue. That's like my really only critique from it. It definitely feels rubbery. Very like normal for a cheaper or older carbon. Uh, slash ceramic film. Older carbons and ceramic had this like weird rubbery feel to it. it. It's not exactly confidence inspiring. We're gonna go put this on the heat lamp and then we're gonna pull it outside and see what this looks like on my car. All right, you guys saw this guy in my last video. Uh, refresher, this is my heat lamp demo. I have it tinted in 20% in all my different films. So we have ceramic on this slide, no tint on this slide. This is a BTU meter, so this is gonna tell us the heat output from this 250 watt IR bulb, and we're gonna put the film in front of it and see how it compares to the rest of them. So we're gonna pop this guy on. Meter is currently at 305. When we go to the dyed film, we're still sitting right at 300, so not much difference between no tint and dyed tint. Doesn't block out much infrared heat. We go to the carbon, we're at 150, about 50% heat reduction. We go to the ceramic, we have about a 75% heat reduction. And then we go back to no tint, see all the way back up to 300. So let me unroll a good piece of this and we're gonna pop it in between and 30. Really, 300? 30, <laughs> oh no. They weren't kidding. It actually blocks out a significant amount of heat. Uh, brought the BTU meter all the way down to like 35, which is just crazy because this stuff says 85% IR reduction. Um, if you guys remember the eBay film that we put on that window uh, said like a 91 to 93% IR heat reduction and it outperformed that. 30 now from Walmart. I mean, they're bringing their A game on this stuff. It actually blocks out a significant amount of heat. Now, my main concern is when we put this on the car and we take it outside, are the windows gonna look hazy? Because that is the number one thing from all cheap carbon and ceramic films. Because when you take carbon and ceramic and you put it in a film, you gotta get those particles to nano size and there's different levels of nano size. So the smaller you get those particles, the better and clearer the film's gonna look. Pulling it outside, can I drive with it? Let's find out. All right, so this isn't gonna be an all out tinting class for that. Uh, I actually stream uh, on this channel. You can see full tint jobs start to finish. If you're curious about the process, you wanna ask questions, I'm more than happy to help out whoever wants to know more about tinting. Um, but when you're going to Walmart to buy window tint, chances are you're not gonna take the time to order a professional tinting toolkit either. I mean, you just wanna use whatever is available here and now, and we gotta get it done now. So uh, in this kit, uh, we have basically a rubber squeegee. This one, I, it's okay, I like the angle on it. You get a really crappy knife, so there's potential to scratch your windows using this, but I mean, hey, it came with it. You get a lint-free cloth, it's like lint is just coming off of it. Yeah, this is the tinting solution. So that will go in the gigantic spray bottle that they gave you. This takes up most of the packaging, so I'm assuming that it just makes it look busy. So you buy it and think, hey, I'm gonna go tint my windows. Okay, so they gave me like two of these packets. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. It probably says somewhere on the packaging. Uh, the soapier, the better. So you can always have too much soap. It just helps you slide around the film easier. Mm. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. I already cleaned off the window. We stripped the film. 
Um, we're gonna spray that off. So all we're doing here is we're cutting out the film uh, to be a little bit bigger than the window. Need to just get that blade in there a little bit more. Roll this down. And this is kind of the other tricky part is cutting out uh, your top edge. That was okay. Not bad, we got a top edge. So this is the part where you can potentially scratch your windows here. So this is not a stainless steel blade. So when I just go to cut directly on glass, I would highly advise taking this to another surface and then cutting out the corners. So just we're just rounding everything to make sure it all fits. So this will run you about 20 to $25. It is a heat gun. Uh, hair dryer won't really work. They just don't get quite hot enough. We're just going to heat up the bottom of the film a little bit. And then when we do that, now the film has a little curve to it. So when we install it on the glass, we don't have all these little pokies. All right, so a couple of additional inexpensive things that you can get to try and make your job turn out a little bit better is we actually have a house wrap tape from Lowe's. Um, it helps keep all the dirt out of the side seals from washing into our tent. And also I put it on the top here. As I'm spraying, a lot of water starts running down. Hopefully that will keep everything dry. Um, it's also advised to get like a couple of one inch razor blades this will scrape you know, any stickers or glue off the window. The squeegee is actually pretty decent. Um, it's got this little edge on it, so that'll help get to all my corners and stuff. But one extra tool that I totally forget to pe forgot to pick up uh, are Bondo cards. So you can find those in the auto department. Those are actually super helpful uh, for DIY tinting. I don't have a tool to pull the seal back to help tuck this in, so we're gonna kinda just shimmy it back, I think, with a knife. So that's where definitely a Bondo card would come in super handy right now. So we have the film installed now, and it turned out really, really nice. So the thing is, it doesn't really matter how expensive or cheap your film is. You can make any film pretty much look fine as long as you get it on the glass with all the bubbles squeegeed out. So that's not the biggest concern. Um, the question now is, when we pull it outside, is it going to look hazy? But just so you guys can have a closer look, you can see against all the white on the wall, it definitely has uh, a much more blue tone than compared to uh, my quarter window right there, which is still the ceramic that I've been using for a long time. Oh yeah, we actually have some sunlight still outside. Oh! Oh, no! No! Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. Oh, what the f <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, I got a cloud, I got a cloud. Initial impressions. I started as I had it installed, I thought it looked kind of milky. This, compared to this, no. This is what I mean by hazy windows. If you install this on a customer car, no, it looks way worse than what's back there. This is hor- I gotta take this stuff off and retin it before I even go home. This is horrible. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a clearer cut demonstration of what low angle haze is. That is horrible. That is probably the haziest film I've ever seen. It just looks like I tinted my windows with some milk. All right, so should you install Blackmagic Nano Ceramic Tint on your car? No, no, just look at the difference here. This is, shame on you, Blackmagic. This stuff, this is a road hazard. You're selling a kit for front doors and it's this hazy? I just, dude, I can't. I, I wanted to leave this on my car for a little period of time to even like see how long this stuff lasted. I can't even do that. I can't drive with this stuff at all. This is just gross. So I'm gonna pull this stuff off. I'm gonna install, I don't know, something else. Uh, but guys, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, we're gonna be doing another film here pretty soon because I just can't be bothered to leave one film on my car for very long. <laughs> so I uh, hope you liked the video. Comments, please let me know what you thought about something like this or if there's a cheap ceramic that you would actually recommend because boy, it ain't this stuff. Don't get this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.